I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day from society's restraints Back to another video, in today's video I'm going to be showing you The 2022 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X This one has the sidestep and the hood graphics And I think this thing looks very good with the hood graphics But let me go ahead and show you all the features this Pro 4X has under the hood, there is a 3.8 naturally aspirated V6. It is connected to a 9-speed automatic transmission. This engine produces 310 horsepower and 281 pound-feet of torque. And the fuel economy numbers on this engine, 17 in the city, 22 highway, and 19 combined. Here is a MSRP sticker of this 2022 Pro 4X. If you guys are interested in the standard features it has, just go ahead and pause the video. And it does have a few accessories like mud flaps, hood graphics, off-road style steps, and the price with those accessories is 40,875. If you guys are curious about the color, the color is called Boulder Gray and it does look very, very good on this Pro 4X. And uh, seriously, this thing looks very, very good. There's three trims you could choose from. There is the S, SV, and the Pro 4X, which is the off-road version of the Frontier. And um, seriously, <laughs> this thing looks amazing. I did review an SV and I did review an S and the Pro 4X is the best looking Frontier. And uh, it is the off-road version of the Frontier. But anyways, guys, I love this Boulder Gray. Seriously, it looks amazing. And as I mentioned, it does have a hood graphics. Uh, this is a $500 option. It looks honestly very, very nice and definitely adds a nicer look to this Frontier. For the headlights, everything right here in the front is LED, which I love. And honestly, it should be expected for the price. Um, seriously, the daytime running lights look amazing. I love the design of the headlights and uh, the high and low beam are sitting in reflectors. Turn signal indicators is LED and uh, I think Nissan did a great job with the headlights uh, here in the front on this Frontier Pro 4X. And down here there is some LED fog lights for the grill it is finished in flat black I think it does have a really nice look to it, it doesn't have that V motion grill and uh, I think it just looks very good uh, on this Frontier I think if they did the V motion grill on this Frontier it would have looked honestly bad and uh, it does say Frontier here up top it's imprinted into the uh, on the grill itself and the Nissan logo is finished in gloss black and or finished in orange but the background is gloss black as I mentioned the grill is finished in flat black and in the bottom there is flat black with um, silver and this thing right here in the middle is the sensor for the braking assist and there is some orange tow hooks and there is some protection underneath uh, this frontier when going uh, off-roading of course you need uh, something to protect uh, the underneath of this uh, truck but yeah I really love this color and I just love the way how this thing looks but let's go ahead and move to the side and I'll show you the side view of this Pro 4X here is the side view of this Nissan Frontier and I think the Frontier is actually the best looking truck now uh, especially if you actually get it in this uh, trim uh, so I prefer it more than the Ridgeline the Ranger and uh, the Tacoma is actually my second favorite. I think the Tacoma still looks good, especially with, with the new um, turn signal indicators they have in the front with the sequential turn signal indicators and uh, with the updated um, headlights. I think it does look very good, but this Frontier seriously looks amazing. And uh, yeah, I really, really like it. It does have the sidestep right here. It is a $750 option. All the window trims are finished in flat black. And on the mirror, there is nothing. Uh, it is finished in the same color as a truck and it doesn't have a turn signal indicator on it. I really wish it did. If you guys are curious about the ground clearance, the ground clearance is 8.9 uh, inches, which I think is good. And uh, there is a Pro 4X sticker in the back. And uh, yeah, I really, really like the way how this thing looks from the side. The fender flares are nice and thick, finished in plastic. And for the rims, I think the rims look very good. They are a combination of chrome and gloss black. And the size is 265, 70, 17. Seriously, there is a ton of rubber. And this is expected. This is an off-road uh, trim, so it should have a lot of rubber. It does have the all-terrain uh, tires, so they're nice and aggressive. But let's go ahead and move to the back, and I'll show you the back view of this Frontier. Here is the back of this Frontier, and I think the back actually looks very good. And uh, I think I did mention it in my SV trim review 
that the Frontier is the best looking truck from the back, at least the midsize, uh, in the mid uh, midsize uh, segment. The tail lights have a really nice look to them. I really like the uh, black surrounding and everything right here in the back in the tail light housing is LED which I love. A lot of companies cheap out and they don't make everything LED. But in this frontier, the tail lights and headlight housings are all LED, which I really, really like. And uh, Pro 4X is uh, right here on the right. It is finished in gray. And the Nissan logo is finished in the orange um, theme. Since this is the Pro 4X, frontier is imprinted into the tailgate. And uh, there is some flat black down here with some of that bolder gray color and yeah seriously it looks very very nice and uh, I think Nissan did a great job with the back of this Frontier here is a key of this Frontier I really wish it had remote start uh, but I'm not sure if you could actually add a package this Frontier and add a remote start uh, to it um, I have to double check, but the key looks okay. Nissan been using this key for <laughs> over a decade now, and uh, I think it's time for them to change it. Anyways, it's a nice light uh, key, and uh, does have three buttons on it, lock, unlock, and a panic button. And by the way, this Frontier has the uh, locking tailgate. It's a $320 option, I think. And uh, here is the backup camera, and here is the handle to open the uh, tailgate by the way there is no button so most of the trucks nowadays they have a rubber button uh, but this one actually has uh, an actual handle and it does have a soft release to it but since this tailgate did not not open it gets a little bit stuck but uh, yeah it does have a soft slow release to it and uh, the size of this bed it's actually very good uh, you do you can get the frontier in a long bed or a short bed and um, there's some tie downs around this bed but there is no AC outlet and there is no LED lights back here probably this is part of a package that you could add to this Pro 4X but for 46,000 I really wish that in the back of this frontier there is there was like an AC outlet or LED lights um, there is some halogen lights up there and um, yeah there's a good amount of space uh, again you could get the um, frontier in long bed or short bed the Pro 4X only comes in the short bed and uh, you could get the frontier in access cap or uh, crew cap here is the door handle and the door handle does not have a sensor right behind it so to lock and unlock this frontier you have to click on the spine here is a front door panel and the front door panel looks very good and uh, there is more of that orange look inside of this um, Frontier and up top. This right here is plastic. I really wish it was finished in that synthetic rubber material. And uh, this is actually nice and soft. Um, it does have the waterproof um, feeling to it. So if this gets dirty, it's very easy to clean. Uh, the armrest is the same, but the armrest is nice and soft. And uh, there is this orange stitching that looks amazing. The door handle is finished in uh, chrome, feels nice and solid, and uh, the window switches and mirror controls, everything looks okay. The driver window is automatic up and down, the rest are not. I really wish that the passenger was uh, automatic up and down as well. For 40000 I think that Nissan should have done that, and I really like this orange um, trim, and uh, this is finished in plastic, and uh, this is finished in... It does have that carbon fiber look, uh, but this is part of an accessory. Um, I think it's called the protection package, if I'm not mistaken. There is a good amount of uh, space in the bottom of this door with a large bottle holder, speaker in the bottom, and uh, the seats are nice and comfortable. And honestly, the design of those seats is very, very good. I love the orange stitching. There's just a ton, and it does say Pro 4X right here on the seats. And there's more orange stitching on the bottom. Here are the seat controls. This seat does not have lumbar support. I really wish it did. But let's go ahead and move inside this Frontier. And I'll show you how it looks like from the inside. Alright. So this is the interior of this 2022 Nissan Frontier. And uh, as you guys heard, this 3.8 V6 sounds seriously amazing. And uh, Nissan, 
they have great v6 engine sounds and uh, steering wheel looks good um, it's very very thin it does have some orange stitching in it and uh, there's some gloss black right here and the steering wheel itself it's wrapped in leather and right here on the left uh, there is a good amount of buttons there is a source and uh, you'll have uh, two buttons right here to control that screen so you could go right and left and volume controls rolls command and phone controls and on the right is uh, the safety features the cruise controls and all the way to the right is the um, wiper controls and on the left is the headlight controls with the turn signal controls and this Pro 4X has the fog light controls as I showed you um, outside and for the gauges they do have this um, red look to them I really wish it was orange honestly in person it looks very dim very dark red but over the camera it looks very bright and uh, yeah the gauges look uh, pretty good uh, they're very easy to understand and here is the air vent and down here is the tool mode brightness control trip reset and all the way in the bottom there is the hill descent cargo lights traction control and then uh, the locking differential and here is a screen it's a nine inch screen it does have apple carplay and android auto and honestly i really like the way how the screen is integrated into the dash i think for trucks uh the screens should be integrated into the dash and cars and suvs uh, tablet style is good and up here there is a small storage place nissan system is not too bad and uh, yeah it is nice and responsive and as i said it does have apple carplay and android auto and it does have a built-in navigation there's some shortcuts in the bottom and here is the backup camera backup camera resolution is honestly bad uh, i really don't like what nissan is doing with their backup cameras i really think they should update them and as i mentioned there's some shortcuts in the bottom let's see if i could bring the brightness up so it is nice and bright and honestly it doesn't have as much clear as uh the centra the altima and the rogue so good screen and there's a volume knob and a tune knob and down here is the emergency light button and for the climate controls they're very easy to use there is a dual climate control in this uh, frontier here is the fan speed on off the front and then you have ac you could push this for uh, the sync function and it does have an auto function and right here on the left is the four wheel drive controls there is the two uh, wheel drive for high and for low and just start stop is located in not a good place i really wish it was located up here um, it's very small and uh, it's very hard to see and down here there is one usb one usb c uh, there is more of that orange theme there is nice stitching right here and uh, there is this orange plastic uh, piece and here is the shifter that will control the nine speed automatic transmission in this frontier pro 4x and it does have a plus and minus so you could downshift but there is no paddle shifters and I really like the stitching on the gear shifter and uh, this is finished in gloss black the cup holders are nice and big and i really like the gloss black uh, trim around the cup holders uh, they definitely add a premium look there is a storage place right here and uh, the armrest is not wrapped in leather it's, it feels like it has that cloth waterproof uh, feel to it there is some orange stitching and inside there is an okay space and uh, there is 112 volt and let me go ahead and show you actually the glove box glove box is nice and big and i really like this orange stitching right here this is this is very hard but it does have the same material as uh, the armrest and up here the rear view mirror is nice and big uh, almost frameless it has very thin bezels here is the glasses holder and there is some led lights probably it's really hard to see over the camera but uh, those lights are actually white they're not halogen so led lights and here is a switch to keep the lights off when the doors are uh, open and here is the sos button and for the visors visors are actually they have some softness to them but uh yeah they're actually not bad they do have some softness uh, to them and uh, there is a mirror with a halogen light on the right here is a back door panel. The back door panel has the same design as the front, but Nissan did cheap out back here a little bit. There is no orange um, trim around this area. There is some 
or in stitching on the armrest. This is nice and soft. This is soft. This is plastic, just like the front. And here is the window switch and the door handle feels lighter than the front. This is plastic, plastic, good amount of storage place and uh, speaker in the bottom. And for the back seats, back seats are actually nice and spacious and headroom is good. And uh, there is an LED light up there. And uh, there is an armrest back here with a uh, with two bottle holders or cup holders and uh, it is nice and soft a little bit hard and I think there is a storage place next to uh, underneath uh, this um, Seat so let me go ahead and actually lift this up and show you guys to be able to lift the bottom of the seat up you have to uh, click the handle or hold the handle and then with the other hand lift up the seat and underneath there is a good amount of storage place even the um, the other seat has the same uh, storage place, but I think it's a little bit bigger. And inside, there is no air vents in the back, but there is one USB and one USB-C. And that's how the front of this Frontier looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this 2022 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X. I would like to thank JC and Napoli Nissan here in Milford, Connecticut for providing me this Pro 4X. If you guys are around and if you guys are interested, make sure to come and check them out. I'm going to go ahead and put the information and link in the bottom of this video. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.